Hello my lovely Geminis and a very warm welcome to your November 2023 horoscope forecast. As we're winding now down towards the end of the year, this is a wonderful time to begin to think about what are the things you want to create in this new year for yourself? What are you aspiring to? What are you hoping for? What do you want to release and let go of? in the old year to begin to think of this because we're going to have at the end of this month a full moon in your sign Gemini so this may bring things to a head bring things to your um, sight that you might not have wanted to look at for a while but it's an opportunity to resolve things and to create some new fresh air fresh opportunities new beginnings so on the ninth of the month, we've got Venus coming into the fifth house. Lovely place for Venus. This is wonderful for anything to do with children, young people, bringing out the child in you. It can be a very good time for launching anything to do with your own business. It can be very good for um, negotiations of any kind. Also really lovely for romance, for love. If that's what you're looking for, that may come into your life at this time. And you can also bring romance into your life at any time, at any age. Bring some flowers into your home, some bright colors, anything that uplifts. This is this energy of Venus in the fifth. It's very optimistic and a very lovely energy to start the month with. On the 11th of the month, we've got Mercury coming into this relationship area. So you might be uh, thinking about relationships more, maybe a particular relationship that you want to uh, have a discussion about or talk about or resolve something. But there's an opportunity for some clear communication with Mercury happening in this um, seventh house for you. Now, on the 13th of the month, we've got a new moon happening here in your sixth house. So for the first couple of weeks of the month, lovely Geminis, we've got to focus on the sixth and the twelfth houses. These houses have to do with your health, your well-being, your work, your service to others, and your invisible, your private, personal, internal, secret world. So finding a balance between the two. A balance between needing to be peaceful and quiet and also being busy and going out there and doing things. This may bring new work opportunities, a new opportunity for recalibrating your health, for energizing your body, maybe finding a new modality, maybe deciding you're actually going to do some regular focused exercise every day. It's an opportunity for creating um, much more energy in your whole system, top to bottom. On the 23rd of the month, we've got the sun coming into the seventh on the 25th, Mars, and on the 27th, the full moon in your sign. So as you see, as we move to the second part of the month, we get this focus on the first and seventh houses, lovely Geminis. So this full moon here in your sign is really an opportunity to look at yourself, your self-development. What are the qualities that you want to cultivate more in yourself? Do you want to cultivate the energy of focus, of concentration, of willpower, of courage, of kindness? What is it? an opportunity to really look at the areas in your life that you no longer want, no longer need. It might be stuff, physical things, relationships, but looking at your relationships with a new lens. How much energy do you want to put into your relationships? Which ones are really important? Prioritize your time, prioritize your energy so that you have enough for you. It's a wonderful opportunity for really bringing more light 
into every interaction that you have. The sun brings light energy. Mars brings energy and Mercury brings communications, your ruler. So this is a wonderful opportunity for clearing the air, for renewing, refreshing relationships generally. So my lovely Geminis, let's pick an Oracle card deck for you for November. Let's see what your card is for this month. Here we go. Uh -huh. So your card is Believe the Impossible. Interesting that we've got that card for you because your ruler is Mercury, all to do with the mind and what you believe. And the planets are all in uh, moving into Sagittarius this month and next month. And this has to do with faith. So can you have faith and widen your beliefs, widen your possibilities, widen your wisdom and believe that you can achieve the impossible? So I wish you a wonderful month and I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.